I'm exhausted already. I've got a lot of stuff. It's about two o'clock. It is low tide. I hope you can hear me. I put the microphone on. I'm gonna head down here. It's like a green spot right at the bottom. There's loads of places to do some fishing and uh, look for crabs and all sorts. Today is uh, an episode by the beach. So as promised, camping on the beach. It is windy, it is Saturday, it is six degrees. I'm expecting a low of about one, but obviously with the wind chill off the sea, I think it's gonna be less than that. Um, but uh, what a beautiful place. It's uh, like I said, about two o'clock. It is the winter time in the UK, so the sun kind of sets pretty early. No way, could I camp here? Tide's on its way back up, what do you reckon? Does it feel this spot or not? It'd be so nice to camp down here somewhere. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know if I could camp here. I'm gonna go and grab the stuff, bring it back, because this is gonna be a good spot anyway. Exhausted. I've walked quite away already. Rainbow. But how much more gorgeous can this place be, man? Honestly, look behind you. Look at this. Another check up. I was like all the way over this edge here. But look. Look at this. Sweet green patch, and then look just on the corner. This here looks amazing. I've been hiking and hiking and hiking. You can see how much the sun's gone down. We've probably got about another hour, hour and a half. It's a gorgeous spot here. I've moved the tent. Basically, I was sitting up here, but obviously I'm getting a hell of a lot of wind coming off the uh, off the sea. So I've pitched it just around the corner behind these rocks, and I've still got this gorgeous view. So uh, I'm just going to finish setting up here, and then uh, we're going to look at somewhere to make a little fire. Probably not going to be doing the camping, uh, cooking in the same place as the tent. Might do it under here. I can protect myself from the wind, make a little fire in the little fire pit, there's lots of rocks here, and uh, that'll be my fire pit. Peace! I need to get some food, I'm kind of hungry. It's going to be cold tonight, like zero degrees, you can hear the wind. It's ice, ice. But, uh, right, I've got to get the rest of the gear in the tent. Uh, I bought this big bundle of wood because uh, obviously there's no wood here, so I need to bring some. But uh, I want to get the rest of the sunset before it goes down. So, let's see, look at that. Look. It's winter UK, so like the sun sets at like half past four, five o'clock. So there's really not a lot of sunlight. So um, I got here at like two. Uh, I missed the first part of the day. It's Christmas time. It's December, so I did a bit of Christmas shopping. The boys were at their mum's this weekend, so I took the opportunity to do a bit of Christmas shopping. Um, we're all set up. This is it. I did promise uh, camping on the beach overnight. Um, 
it is going to be cold tonight. It's probably not the best night to do it. But um, the sound of those waves. It is now quarter past four. That's it, and the sun has just set. It's like not even half four yet. This is why I wanted to be here. Like coronavirus is uh, making everyone feel miserable. Christmas is coming. We've been having some really gorgeous sunsets tonight, so I, like, I just wanted to get out. I hope you enjoyed the sunset. I kind of sped it up a little bit, but. A couple of extra small bits. They don't mess around. Let's throw two of them on. Does not even feel that cold. Look at that sky. Oh my god. We got the rod with some rocks on the back dangling over this rock and on top of that we've got the grill hanging over the fire which is heating up and there's my little spot here I can sit behind this rock. There's actually not a lot of wind. I haven't got the mic on uh, or the little muffler over the mic. There you go. Quarter to five, it's only been 15 minutes since the last shot. On the menu as always, we got some tomato soup. Where's the front? There he is. Some soup, and I got some sausages again today. There's a, I can see like a big boat coming out with all these lights flashing out there. Ooh the fire is lovely and warm too. Perfect. Bubbling away. Sausages are nearly done. Soup is pretty much boiled. It's time to chow. Get some food on. Well, that's the soup done. Time to turn my hands and mouth to the sausages. That's good sausage.
But yeah, so uh, get in the tent, eat some snacks, chill out. Um, and in, in the morning, obviously, uh, we'll be catching the, uh, the I'll be catching the sunrise, which will be really nice. Uh, hopefully, it shouldn't be too uh, too cold. I should survive tonight, no problem. Um, if it rains, what will be will be. The tent's pretty well pegged down, but hey, this is an adventure. Who knows? It could all go horribly wrong. I think the most important thing is not to walk off the edge of the cliff during the night. Stars are incredible tonight. It's so it sucks. I can't get it on camera. There's no way. Um, but they're, they're just amazing. There's no light pollution out here, so it's just awesome. I can see one, two, two or three massive boats out in the uh, in the water with the lights on. Right. Next clip, I'll be in the tent. Okay, so I'm in the tent. Um, it's not too windy in here. No, it's not too cold, actually. Oh, so that's starting to breeze a bit. Like I said, it's about half past eight. So I'm going to change my socks for some dry ones because walking through all that grass earlier, I got a bit wet. And I really should have done this camping in the summer. I just like, I didn't know why I didn't think to come camping at the beach in the summer instead of the winter. But the yeah, sunsets are pretty nice and hopefully the uh, sunrise tomorrow is going to be really good too so uh, bacon in the morning nice cup of coffee um, like I said I carried my own wood here because there's nothing there's no trees here so I'm glad I brought wood I've saved enough for tomorrow to make a coffee um, and to cook up my bacon I'm going to do a bit of fishing tomorrow as well for what it's worth I'm going to try and throw a rod in I am not a fisherman but I'm going to give it a whip or break some um, seashells off or something and grab some like I don't know barnacles and take the guts out, use that as bait, um, just for fun, just give it a whip, you don't know unless you try, so um, uh, there's been a slight change, everything uh, that I do, there's been an update actually, yeah, which is going to improve the quality of our videos, um, so uh, everything that I do, I film on my mobile phone, and everything that I edit is on my mobile phone, I don't have a laptop, as we Samsung S7, uh, so it's really old. Um, it films on you know, HD and as you've seen every video I've posted has been filmed on it and I've edited everything on it. Um, so I film and edit everything on my phone. Um, but I've got an upgrade. So I've got now a Samsung A71, um, which is a much newer phone with better cameras. So hopefully, and I've got a new um, editing software as well, um, which should improve the quality of the videos. So hopefully you guys should be seeing better quality stuff. I want to keep everything to like what they think is called pocket filming. So everything's done sort of you know on the mobile phones so I'm gonna still film everything on the mobile um, edit everything on the mobile this video is probably the last video I'm gonna film on the Samsung um, S7 or S5 I don't know which one it is it's an old one it's super old um, in fact the app that I used for editing all the videos that I've done on YouTube so far I can't even download anymore so I've had to get another one uh, a different one so um, yeah so I'm gonna get some warm socks on because these are wet and uh yes yeah, snuggle down into my bed so i've got my sleeping bag i've got like my uh tent mat sleeping bag liner um yeah and then just a blanket and we're just gonna see how we go i should be warm enough i'm pretty warm blooded so right anyway right i'm gonna get some a uh, little bit of juice and then uh snuggle on into bed Sun is slowly starting to rise. I can't wait, this is gonna be amazing. So let's uh, just stoke up a bit of a fire, shall we? Going for a wander up the cliff. So let's see what my sight looks like from a distance. Oh, there's my fire. Morning. Okay, right. So I think I found a good place to uh, to see the sunrise. Um, I've set the tripod up. I'm just going to quickly go down and make a cup of coffee. I'm in a great spot where I can see like. My little campsite, you can just see the, the flame just off the edge of the cliff. And then the sunrise is just gonna be here. And then on the other side there's like nothing out here. It's all pitch black. But I'm gonna whip back down, make a quick cup of coffee, and then the sun should rise in about half an hour or so. Okay, right, back at the campsite. 
quickly brew up a coffee. I've left a tripod at the top, so I'm gonna have to hold everything, but uh, and I'll uh, quickly make this coffee and then run back up and get the sunset. Make me coffee. All right, better get this camera set up. Okay, all right, I'm gonna head back down, sort my coffee out. I think I saw some lights in the distance along the coast. There might be someone walking along in a minute, but. Um, yeah, so hopefully this should look nice. I'm gonna leave the camera here, head back, and uh, I'll be up in a minute. Well, half an hour. Sunrise was amazing. The sky is blue. It's like it's not cold. I've seen a couple of people walking already up on the hill. Still got the fire cooking up. Um, I think it's time for a bit of fishing. I think I've saved some bacon from breakfast, so uh, we use that as bait. And then uh, yeah, I'm just going to see if uh, see if we can catch something. I've no idea. Everyone's up. Um, okay, so plan is. Um, I'm going to take the tent down because I'm not going to need that today. I mean, look at the sky. It's gorgeous. Uh, and then I think I'm going to head to the end of where I've been camping. And I'm going to try and fish. I'm going to use some bacon. Uh, I've got a basic rod. It's all like really light gear. So hopefully it's going to be nothing big. Um, barbless hook. And yeah, let's uh, throw some bacon in and see what we can get. Right, the sun's uh, well and truly risen. Tent's all packed away. It's a beautiful day today. Not a cloud in the sky. The tent was covered in ice, but I was warm in my sleeping bag. One more cup of coffee, and then let's uh, hit the hit the waves. Wait now. Coffee. Okay, all right, just head down to the cave over there. Got a few of these rocks to fight along. I think I'm gonna maybe set up on here 
and then kind of fish this bit and see what happens. Okay, All right, we're beating it up. First cast. I lose. All right, so it uh, doesn't look like the fish want to bite today. It's bad luck, I guess. You win some, you lose some. Oh, I'm exhausted climbing back up these rocks. Well, that, uh, that rock pool looked really potential. You see how clear the water is down here? Woo, if it wasn't so icy cold, I'd be in there. Oh, gosh. Right, grab my bags, and now uh, we'll start finding some big rock pools. All right, I'm all bagged up. Okay, all right, so that was the site where I camped last night, and I'm thinking about rock pooling over there. That is three, uh, four jagged, spiky rocks sticking out. This is where I camped last night. <sighs> Always leave no trace. Oh, the beds are already uh, jumping around my camp spot. And my tent was just here next to this rock. Fire was here. Everything's clear. Okay, let's head over to those rocks. It's me. The water is so clear over there. Even down here, you can see the bottom. It's a shame I can't get across and camp on that rock over there. Right, let's get down. Well, I'll come down to the water level. There's a big cave in there, you can hear it. I'm ready when the water goes in. There we go. Yeah, it's um, high tide was at uh, 9 o'clock, it's now nearly 11, so we're only two hours after high tide, so I'm probably not going to find many rock pools, but I'm not going to give up. There don't really seem to be too many rock pools. There's a little one over here. There's a couple over here, but I had to sort of jump between the tide to get past that bit. I'm gonna check these. Okay, so that last bit was a bust. There was no, uh, no uh, rock pools really down there. I just need a bit more energy before I head back. We've got to walk all the way. Back up here. Now I've got to go that way. There are a few more potential rock pools. We'll see. But, um, yeah, it's nearly the uh, video done. I won't finish it just yet, just in case I see something cool on the way back. You've seen loads of these mushrooms? Little red cap things or something. One there. There's a big one over here. Look at this thing. Woo! No idea what it is, I'm not going to touch it. And to be honest, I don't even like eating mushrooms, but 
There's a big one there. Oh, look at the size of these things. Like the size of the power of my hand. I don't know what type of mushrooms these are. There's two more here. Gotta get out of the light. Look at these two things. There used to be loads of mushrooms everywhere around here. Alright guys, I think that's it. I couldn't find any rock pools, the tides are too high. Unfortunately, so this is uh, kind of the end of the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, like I said, these uh, solo camping videos are kind of once every other weekend. Um, just because obviously the, my children and they go to their mums every other weekend, so um, I'm all alone. And so I may as well just go out, there's no point in staying in. So, um, yeah, but uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Christmas is coming soon, everyone's getting the, the Christmas spirit. Um, look at this weather, it doesn't feel like Christmas. Um, hopefully, if it snows, I'm going to be heading out onto the, the moor because I'm going to be doing a camping in the snow video. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that one. Um, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.